everyone, welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, welcome we're the Garso Twins. I'm Carly. And I'm Britta. Please subscribe before you leave so you don't miss any of our uploads. Today we're going to be doing a Sephora buy or buy. We've never really done one of these, I feel. Maybe we've done one in like mm -hmm. all of our years on YouTube. But I feel like I like watching these videos because we both always go through new arrivals on Sephora and kind of chat about like, oh, this is interesting or I won't be buying this. So we're just going to go through the app and kind of share our thoughts. Okay, so if you want to like follow along, I don't know if everyone's app looks the same, but I just went to shop and then new and we're just going to scroll through and chat about things that we see. So one thing that I, it's on my wish list, like I'm not going to buy it now, but I do want to buy it is the herbivore supernova 5% THG vitamin C and caffeine brightening eye cream because we loved the herbivore nova vitamin C serum mm -hmm. and now we kind of switched to the vanna cream because it's more affordable but they both have the THG um, active in them and that is our favorite form of vitamin C and in our in my opinion the most effective at yeah. least like on my skin at brightening evening skin tone and so I feel like this has to work good it has really good reviews but it's $48 so do I need it right now no but do I want it do you agree yeah it seems so nice something we don't want to purchase is the Kat Von D Beauty Everlasting Hyper Light Vegan Transfer Proof Liquid Lipstick and honestly like they might be nice but I just feel like it takes a lot to launch a liquid lipstick that isn't like so thick and mm -hmm. heavy. The MAC ones we swatched seem super nice. Yeah. But this one, I just like don't trust it because the ones that they used to make were like cement so drying on your lips. And I remember back in the day we were obsessed. Cap on you bone arrow, we wore that every thing. single day. <laughs> every day. Every day for like every two years. Every day, yeah. I remember wearing it all the time. So it's very odd, but they're um, back. Yeah, it's odd that they're back. We will see. And yeah, this this person did a review, um, Calatrix, formerly Bow and Arrow, and they said that mm. it doesn't look at all like Bow and Arrow used to look. They oh, yeah. They still have their Bow and Arrow, and I thought the same thing, because they first launched this with like the Lolita color, I think, and I was like, this doesn't even look like that looks yeah. like. So, very weird. Weird colors, weird launch. Okay, another thing we won't be buying is the Charlotte Tilbury Matte Beauty Blush Wands. I see these like all over YouTube, all over TikTok, and I know they're getting good reviews, but I could never spend $42 on a liquid blush. Like a powder blush, the Gucci Rosy Beige. Yeah. Fine. I use that nearly every day. I'm a powder blush girl. I like creams. Like today I'm using the M Cosmetics um, cream blush, but for a like a liquid blush, I never use them. And yeah. so I would just never spend the money. Yeah, agreed. It's... And people said that they're more full than the old ones, but like I had the highlighting wand and it was like half empty <laughs> and it didn't last very long and they're just so expensive now. So expensive. And they don't even sell Pillow Talk, the one good color on Sephora. Yeah. So weird. Okay, the Hourglass lipsticks are really expensive. They're $38, but I would get one because mm -hmm. they've been getting such good reviews. They look like the perfect like satin lipstick where yeah. it's like a little bit of shine, but not too shiny, not matte. Um, the only complaint is that these swatches seem to be completely unrealistic to the actual colors themselves. Mm -hmm. Everyone says they're wrong. I think that there's a lot of shades that look nice based on different influencer videos I've watched, not on the Sephora swatches. But for some reason, Tropic really has my eye. It's like a coral in person. They describe it as a rose mauve. Oh, do you think it would look like that Sunny Space one we like, baked? Uh, no. no, I don't think so. Baked, okay, back from baked. Oh, maybe a little bit. Yeah, um, I know Dev's Day has that one, but they all look really nice. They do. Sorry, Luna joined us. I don't know if you can see her. Um, another thing that I'm interested in is the Lawless Forget the Filler Lip Plumping Line Smoothing Tinted Lip Balm. <laughs> She's so cute. Uh, people rave about the Forget the Filler line. I've never tried any of the Lawless lip products, but I don't need it on their like potted lip mask, so I don't think I would buy that. But the lip balm is intriguing because I like the idea of having kind of like a glossy plumping balm that I can like throw over a lipstick. And it's only $26, which isn't that bad. Okay, now that Glossier is on Sephora, I've kind of wanted to pick up one of the Gen G's, the new shades in Punch. They describe it as a bright rosy red. Just looks so pretty for summer, so I think I'm just going to wait until it's more like into the summer months. Yeah, but the um, matte one specifically, right? Yeah, the Gen G. 
Oh, yeah, because they have different their, names. Oh, they do. Mm -hmm. Okay. And Glossy also has their bomb.com on Sephora now, but they reformulated it. So we'll not be picking up because it's been getting really bad reviews, which is a shame because $14 is a really good price for a lip balm. But if the formula is not good, then yeah. we don't really have interest in trying it. Yeah. The thing we're on the fence about, we might buy or we might say goodbye, is the Milk Makeup Sculpt Cream Contour Stick. I feel like the colors look really nice, like an actual contour yeah. shade, but they are so tiny. But in the same sense, like if you're actually using it to contour, you don't need a lot of product. Yeah, but the, my thing is like, everyone loves these sticks now, but Britt and I got on the Mel Makeup Fake Bronzer I train. I loved it. Early. And it used to be $20 for a well, giant... Well, I think they still have baked, but it's like an, a different... No, they put it all in the mini packaging now. No, I think it's here. Yeah. It's 5.7 grams. Oh, is it smaller? Yes. Oh. They're all in this mini packaging now because I think that they thought like people weren't going through them. But I had gone through an entire baked bronzer mm -hmm. and I'm you guys, this stick was massive. I probably still maybe have well, it. I bet it's the same stick that their face masks come in. Yeah. It was massive and it was $20 and then it went up to like 24 and it kind of like peaked at like 28 before they like redid this whole thing. Yeah, it was probably like this size. Yeah, which was 30, 30 grams. grams. We don't know for sure, but we think so. Yeah. Um, and so like just because of that, it would be so hard for me to purchase this yeah. tiny stick from them. Agreed. When like they on used, principle. Yeah, like they used to. Are these, I, just somewhere in the middle. It didn't have to be yeah, so big. Yeah. But like why are they so small now? Yeah. I just feel like they went way too little. That's like a sample size, you guys. I know. One thing that's been getting a lot of buzz, but we probably won't be trying, is the Kosas um, Glow IV Illuminating Enhancer. I just feel like we don't really use these like lotion type mm -hmm. things. Like you really liked that L'Oreal one for a while. Yeah. The Lumique lotion. Um, but it's just not something I use in my routine. Like even in the summertime. Yeah. So probably a pass. But the packaging's cute. Okay, there's a new NARS palette. It's Orgasm Rising. So it's their nine pan palettes. And I have the Climax palette from last year, and it's still one of my favorite eyeshadow palettes ever. Like, there's so many different formulas in the palette. Everything's good quality. It's like really sturdy, nice packaging with a big mirror. So I don't love this color story because it's essentially just like rosy and pinks and peaches. But if you like this color story, then I can tell you the formula is really good and you should get it because I found that like it's really worth the money and I use that palette all the time and I wish they would have kept it permanent because the colors were beautiful it's like and it's a, a good like travel size yeah it's a good travel size I brought it with me traveling a lot of places okay something I'm interested in buying eventually is the Danessa Myricks Yummy Skin Blurring Balm matte color for lip and cheek I think that Danessa Myricks has some of the most like underrated formulations in the color cosmetics space I love the Balm Contour. I need to repurchase that. I added it to my wish list again because I need to like buy it. I just have so many cream bronzers right now. But this is, it seems like a cream to powder formula that's really pigmented. So I really love the shade Dancing Queen, which is a vivid plum. But I don't know if it would be too deep for my skin tone. So I need to do some further investigating. But the formula just seems like an actual cream to powder, which is what yeah. I love because a lot of creams stay dewy, which I don't like and the colors are really unique. Mm -hmm. Like there's like a bright orange, a deep orange, like this golden hour is actually really pretty too. And it's only $25, which I think is a good deal. So definitely we'll pick that up eventually. Okay, a buy pass for me is the Tower 28 Sculptino bronzers. Um, I was really excited for this launch because I early on bought like all the blushes from Tower 28 and like loved their cheap products. And I had the bronzing all for a long time. But I also like found that that formula was a little too like dewy and sticky after I tried mm -hmm. other cream products I liked more. And then this one, I was like, oh wow, this actually looks like they kind of reformulated it to be a little less dewy. So I was really excited, but the colors just look so yellow and orange yeah. and not really the type of bronzer I go for. Like I think that the whole thing that they called it a contour, well now it's contour and bronzer. Yeah. <laughs> They made that change on the PDP page on Sephora, but basically, um, even as a bronzer, it just doesn't look like a color I would want. So. Which is sad because I really love slim packaging because mm -hmm. I have a small bathroom, can't fit a lot of things in there, and a lot of my bronzers are in bulky packaging yeah. for some reason. 
And this one is like so small, so it's a shame. But mm -hmm. maybe they'll extend the range. Yeah. This replica on a date perfume has been getting good reviews, but you guys know we don't like floral fragrances. So I'll try it at Sephora, but will I ever buy it? Probably not. But they have some beautiful fragrances. This one probably just isn't up our alley. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let us know what you're picking up from Sephora or what you won't be. There's lots of new releases. Yeah. Let us know.